Hello all, so this is a video lecture series of basic VHDL coding for beginners. We are discussing various terms that we use in VHDL. We have been discussing various structures uh, that we use like conditional elements, loops, etc. We have discussed if loop, uh, for loop and case structure. Now we are going to discuss about a very simple concept which is while loop in VHDL. So just like uh, in other languages, we will also use while loop in VHDL. Uh, to evaluate various conditions and to loop over various uh, conditions. So, while loop in VHDL. The syntax of the while loop is given like this. While in angular bracket condition, loop, end, while loop, uh, end loop. Okay, so while condition, then you have to give the keyword loop, then end loop. Now, let us see about the condition. So, this condition is a boolean condition it can be true or false generally it is a boolean condition or it can also be an expression that evaluates to true or false the condition is evaluated before every iteration of the loop and the loop will continue only if the condition is met as true so just like in normal uh, you can say c or c plus plus or java or other programming languages just like we evaluate conditions after every iteration of the loop here also we will check for the condition and only uh, when the condition is uh, met as true then only the loop will run okay so that is the case for example let's see the conditions when i is less than 10 or when i is not equal to 10 for these two conditions just these are two examples in which we are evaluating the condition or only if the condition is met as true then only the loop will iterate. Let's go to an example. This is a very simple example uh, in which how to use while loop we are going to see. Okay. Entity sample is and sample. I have not given uh, actually anything inside the entity because it's just for the sake of uh, declaration of an entity. We have done it here. So the main focus is on the while loop. So first, the, uh, first comes the entity and then after the entity, we are going to write the architecture architecture will be giving an architecture name i have given sim of the entity uh, entity name is begin process is variable we are going to declare a variable i as an integer and it is set equal to zero begin while i is less than 10 loop so here you check the condition we are uh, checking the value of i for every iteration and it should be less than 10 only if it is less than 10 the loop will run otherwise it will come out of the loop and just like as uh, as i was saying in the beginning just like we do in other programming languages here also only when the condition whatever condition is being met uh, is being kept uh, if the condition is uh, true only then the loop will run and after the uh, the operations whatever operations you want to do inside the while loop after doing it then you increment the value of the variable i okay so here i is the uh, the the variable that we are using for uh, evaluating the condition and then we also increment the value of that variable just to run the loop okay end loop wait and process end architecture so all the other things except the while loop here will vary according to the requirement of the logic so just focus on the while loop so this is how we are going to use while loops uh, the conditions may vary according to the requirements but uh, this is how generally we use while loop in vhdl programming okay so that is a simple example of a while loop and this is how it is being used please continue watching this series to get better understanding of various concepts uh, various uh, you know uh, behavioral designs and all for various elements in electronics and how it is achieved using VHDL coding we are going to see in this course.